Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another of my Halloween reviews. Today's review, I take a look at the 2013 uh, found footage anthology sequel, VHS 2. Uh, the film is chock full of very, very talented directors, directors behind such projects as Godzilla vs Kong, The Blair Witch Project, its sequel Blair Witch, Hobo with a Shotgun and The Raid movies. Very talented people indeed. Uh, and it follows on from VHS. Now, the VHS franchise I spoke very recently about because I've just reviewed on the channel VHS 99, which I quite liked. Um, and so the franchise has been going about a decade or so now. Uh, I think we're five movies into it. I th I just correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think we've got five VHS movies. This is obviously the second one and probably the one that many regard as the strongest, myself included. Um... I've always enjoyed, well, the thing is I enjoy found footage films and I enjoy anthology films. So this is a, a, a combination kind of made in heaven for me. Um, now the, the franchise has taken a few missteps, uh, VHS Viral, I've heard isn't very good and that's the only one I haven't seen yet. VHS 94 was decent, but it was nothing spectacular and I thought nine, VHS 99 was something of a return to form. Now, what do we get on VHS 2? Well. We get four stories, and like the, a wraparound story. And the wraparound story here is that you get like a private investigator and his partner, um, essentially sent to search this empty house because uh, they're looking for someone. When they get in this house, they discover that there is a lot of TVs and VHS tapes lying around um, that the um, his partner basically decides to watch out of curiosity to see what's on there. And that's what introduces us to the stories that we're going to watch. And the first story um, actually stars Adam Wingard as a guy who's having, who's had like an experimental eye surgery. It's like this new eye that's been put in that is um, computerized. It sends all sorts of, sorts of signals back to the deep GPs and all this kind of stuff. And when he gets back home, he discovers that after this surgery, he now can see dead people <laughs> uh there's no real explanation given to it really and someone else turns up at his door uh, and basically explains that she had a procedure on her ears done uh, and she can see dead people as well so it kind of expands from there this is easily i think the weakest story on vhs2 but i still think it's a good story there's some good jump scares in it and things like that but for me so it's not a strong massively strong opening now, the second story on VHS 2 um, is one that focuses on the zombie. It's a zombie story, basically, but it's done from like a POV perspective. So you've got this cyclist with like a camera on his helmet um, and he's like filming everything. Uh, he's going for a cycle and then he essentially gets bitten by a zombie turns. And then we, we get to see from this zombie's perspective everything that this zombie sees. Everything that it does, everything that it eats, everything it, everything it attacks. It's a really cool concept. When I rewatched this film to prepare for this review, I watched it with my son who's not seen the VHS film before. And he loves zombies and zombie films. He loves stuff like The Walking Dead. And he, even he commented when he watched this, he says, wow, this is really original. He says, I've never seen anything like this for a, you know, for a zombie thing. Uh, he really liked it. It was fun. It was, it was quite comedic at times, but also pretty damn gory too. Um, and I think a very, very creative uh, perspective to tell like a zombie story, a genre that's done to death. Now, the third story is probably the one that stands out, I think. Uh, it's Well, they're all good to some degree, but the third one is the, is the one with the cult. There's like this cult, it's in Japan or something like that. And these documentary film makers uh, want to film this cult leader inside their... Um, base of operations so he allows them in there uh but the day he lets them in there is the day when they're all going to kind of become immortal as he puts it um so it goes batshit crazy completely and utterly um and it becomes a fight for survival um it's what could you say about this story it's mad as you like i mean really mad but undeniably captivating stuff this story i think it's one of the best found footage stroke anthology 
stories I think I've ever seen, you know, whether it be an anthology one or a found footage one. I mean, the concept was fantastic. Very, very intense stuff. And the fourth tale, um, essentially, is a very, very good one. It's a UFO one. Um, I, it's just packed full of jump scares, this one. Uh, and you get this family in the US. Uh, and you get this kid filming on his camcorder and this kind of stuff, pulling pranks on each other. Uh, the parents are away. Um, and then they essentially get stalked by some aliens. Um, I think this one is really intense. I mean, you get these massive loud noises, bright lights, house shaking. You get to see these aliens stalking them and jump scares everywhere. Um, and you get to see it again from some creative perspective as a camera on the little pet dog. Um, and again, very, very good. Very, very well made. Very, very scary. Um, and I, so I think from story two onwards, they're just top notch stuff. Three of the best found footage struck anthology stories you're ever going to see, certainly in the modern era, you know what I mean? And I, I would stand them up with some of the best of all time, um, the three stories from story two onwards. Really good stuff, really atmospheric, really um, creative, um, and you're unable really to take your eyes off the screen. Um, so I, I've always thought the VHS franchise has got scope to grow, um, and I think what they're doing now is being very, very clever about it. They're kind of putting it in eras. Like we've had VHS 94 and we've got, we just had VHS 99. Um, and I think what they're doing is clever in, 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 in a sense of like setting it in eras, like in the nineties. And then maybe we'll get a VHS 82 or something like that, uh, or a VHS 75 or I, I don't know, um, something interesting and creative. And I think it's a, probably a decent, idea of how to move the uh, franchise forward so yeah i think this is one of the strongest out there i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 let me know in the comments which is your favorite vhs film and segment and of course i'll be back with loads more reviews and content on the channel very very soon